you guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. How are you all finding the nether update so far? Because my life is gone. You all saw me pop a god pot at the start of my last stream. And I think this is the first time I'm ever about to see a god pot expire naturally. Because in typical YouTuber fashion, I've done some off-camera grinding, you know. I've gone all over the place. Your boy's got this co-op on his back, dude. Look at me, single-handedly with the 100,000 mycelium collection. Definitely had nothing to do with the snail pet. Also, you know, we're rocking the Kudra pet now. Managed to drop one of those. We've done some of that. We got Blaze Slayer level six and we made many a mistake. If you look at my purse, this update's taken 10 billion from me already. Most of the money has gone on two particular items. You know how last stream I said I was just gonna one for all the daggers for the time being? Well, I carried on grinding, managed to unlock the dagger upgrades and painfully crafted those. I'm pretty sure they cost me around 200 million coins each. And I figured it was about time to put the T7 books on them. So that's I did. And the T4s were still kind of difficult, to be fair. I was out there trying all kinds of setups. Blaze Pet, Frozen Blaze, Sorrow Chest Plate, Necron, Golden Dragon, all the things. But I just couldn't find the right balance between attack speed and damage. So do you know what resolved that? Chimera 5 and Chimera 5, because obviously there's two weapons, so everything is just twice as expensive. But I went balls to the wall with these things. Perfect Opal Gemstone, perfect Jasper Gemstone on each one. Every single Max Enchad. Fire Aspect 3, Smoldering 5, Chimera 5, and I'll tell you what, they mince tier 4s, dude. It was actually such a good investment because I've made quite a bit of money off of Blaze Slayer, even though I spent far more money than I've actually made. I don't know how many of you actually know about this, but obviously there's new equipment now, which you can access by going into your Skylock menu and clicking on your profile up here. You'll have four equipment slots right here. Most people will probably just have like the white belt from the dojo or something, but if you hit up the auction house and search for Vanquish, you'll be able to find all the different Vanquish pieces. And there's actually a secret full set bonus when you have all four Vanquish pieces. While on the Crimson Owl, receive minus 10% damage when being attacked and your damage is multiplied by 1.1x. That is broken. Also, you can reforge these and recombobulate them. So that's exactly what I did. From what I've seen so far, Strengthened is the best reforge. Probably about to kill the market, but Searing Stones is where you get the Strength and Reforge for equipment. There's also a couple others. There's the Meteor Shard here, which will give you defense. And there is the Blaze Wax, uh, which I can definitely use for my forehead, but that gives you 12 health and six crit chance. Anyways, I hope I'm able to do T4s on stream because I'm pretty consistent with them now, but they are rough, bro. By far the most difficult Slayer out yet. I'd say I get about three quarters of my T4 bosses down now, but we all know what I'm like on stream, so I'll probably fail every single one. What's the tripwire item? You can buy it from the NPC at the entrance to the Smoldering Tomb. It pulls the blazes in, stops them from being able to fly and makes you deal two times damage to them. Also, it's just really cool. I like how a Slayer's finally made the spawning process fun. There's something so fun about pulling the blazes in and then teleporting around and trying to reel in multiple like that. I really enjoy the spawning process of this Slayer, apart from the 75 mil HP mini bosses that one tap me. But yeah, I really, really, really like this Slayer. They patched the bugs and tweaked the Wisp Pet and it's like goated for real. Actually, that will spawn my boss. So let's take this up here and hopefully not fail the first one on stream. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna get my first T4 when the server is absolutely crapping itself. It's happening! The Chimera Daggers are so strong, by the way, with Antique Remedies. But I actually got my first T4 on stream during Insane Lag. Yo, the chat full of Ws and GGs. It's a nice change. My chat is usually just full of Ls and Bozos and clown emojis. So, you know what? This is awesome. This prop sounds dumb, but why are you using Claymore to kill spawn mobs and not daggers? Because the daggers don't do as much damage to the blazes. So, if I use a Claymore to spawn it, you can see I do around 1.6 to 2.4 mil per hit. Whereas with with the dagger, I'll do uh, like 1.1 mil. It's like only a bit more with the claymore, but because these bosses take long enough to spawn anyway, I don't want to lengthen that process even more. You know what I mean? Also, it's a flex doing a slayer with three chimera weapons. That's how difficult this slayer is. I'm out here using three chimera weapons to get the job done. Oh, I forgot to mention as well. When I said I got my Kudra pet earlier, uh, they've reworked the perk since the alpha, and it also now only goes to level 100, which is a breeze. I really like that new Vanquish 
Vanquisher Park, which gives you an extra chance of finding those because Nether Stars are going to be super important for buying Kudra keys, man. And Vanquishers are kind of rare. They're the withers that spawn sometimes whenever you kill mobs. They're like special zealots, but they work for like every mob on the Crimson Isle. So having an increased chance to find those and get Nether Stars is nice because you can go and spend your Nether Stars over in this shop here to buy Kudra keys, which are otherwise super rare drops from the mini bosses around the island. The more reputation you get, you unlock the higher tier Kudra keys. Keep on to your Nether Stars, boys. They are super important. And that perk on the Kudra pet is incredible for it. I love the gameplay of this Slayer, by the way. It just constantly keeps you on your toes. You cannot go brain AFK for one second in this fight. And I absolutely love it. And swapping between the daggers and the attunements is such a creative way of doing it. Also a creative way of getting the coins at the economy when you have to now recombobulate and reforge two different weapons. And if you're me, whack Chimera on two different weapons as well. The design of this Slayer is just so good, man. Come on, game. There we go. The thing is, I'm not too sure about putting Chimera on these daggers. Like, I think it's worth it for the short term because it definitely makes doing T4s a lot more viable, which means I can just get to Blaze 7 pretty early on, which not many people can do. So that's a nice position to be in. But it's definitely overkill. And we haven't seen how good the new enchants are, Inferno and Fatal Tempo. So it could be that I end up replacing Chimera on my daggers. But considering nobody's going to be able to get the T3 daggers for a while, I think Chimera here is not that bad of an investment because have you guys seen what the t3 daggers require we have the death ripper dagger which is a stack of molten powder and 16 inferno vertex right these things are the new rng drops from the inferno minions and you need 16 of these per dagger right not too bad you also need a stack of molten powder which is around 200 to 300 million coins right now i believe but there's also only one inferno vertex on the server that's been generated so far as of all of the minions and it's selling for 500 million coins the t3 daggers are not happening for a long time the other one also requires a stack of molten powder and 16 inferno vertex pretty sure it just needs like gold magma fish instead of the sulfur cubes it's crazy man that's why i just decided to pull the trigger on chimera did basically set fire to another like 3.5 billion or something whoa wait I had a Necron chest plate on, oh my god. I have no idea how I survived that, honestly. <laughs> this is a slow boss. Ah, it's a dead boss. Typhus can sometimes randomly one-tap you. But you know what? I've done two out of three so far this stream, so that's not too bad. Please don't one-tap me this time, sir. Okay, we made it past the first one. Honestly, Typhus is the scariest part of this boss. He's actually a pretty decent boss if we skip him again. And we got it! Let's go! Basically, what I'm trying to do is after Typhius becomes immune, if you get through Quasi's immunity fast enough, all of the fire aspects and Venomous will stack on Typhius at once and insta-kill him. It makes the boss fight so much faster if you can do that on both splits. But I think that time I wasn't really paying enough attention to my health. <laughs> also, have you seen that drop from the Millennia Rage Blaze? It has like a golden powder drop, like a super, super rare RNG. I've only got one of them so far. This thing, Millennia old blaze ashes and you need eight of them to make a blaze talisman but all of these things are soul bound so that's gonna be rough to get actually a pretty nice talisman though okay nope <laughs> i want whatever attack speed typhus has i'm telling you a reforce shoes on your talismans silky is the best one for pure damage i'd say probably the most optimal setup if you don't have a g-dragon chimera is to use the scorch bucks one and use accessory enrichments to give yourself attack speed because for an enrichment you gain plus 0.5 attack speed whereas if you use your tuning points you only get 0.2 attack speed so it's better to use your tuning points on crit damage or strength and that should get you to 82 pretty easily actually Oh, thank God, dude. You pretty much can't lose at this point in the boss fight. There we go. 104 seconds. Nice PB. We just got a smoldering one book. Let's go, bro. Hey, more Millennia Old Blaze Ashes? Only six more. Come on, Tafia skip. Let's go, bro. There's three checks to know if you got like a, a good boss fight. And we got two of them so far. It's if you Tafia skip and skip that fire pillar. Now we got to do this again. And we're actually pretty gamer. Come on. Let's go. I'm actually good at the video game. What time do we get? 66 seconds. Eh. 
I'll take that. Oh, another smoldering bug. Check me out. We're getting blessed with the RNG. We're just getting nothing from the bosses themselves. Another smoldering bug? I'm not even making any money off the bosses, bro. I'm making all my money off the regular blazes. How much are these bugs right now? Six mil a pop? Easy. Wait, let me see how much I've made from the ash. 13 mil. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. More millennial old blaze ashes? I'm actually RNG carried. What? Death Streaks is level seven and he's dropped zero and I've just dropped three in like two hours. That's sick. If only you could sell this. This is actually be worth so much money right now. Flawed Opal. I, why is it only getting flawed? What is that? 136k. Oh, come on, Hypixel. That could be fine. Damn. 100k from a T4 Blaze. Let's go, dude. And Jed. What do we get? Scorched Power Crystal. Of course they released this just after I bought like two years worth of fuel for our beacons. But these things are actually pretty cool. I should start using them. I have quite a bit in my backpack. What's the best drop you can get from Blaze Slayer? It seems to be Wilson's engineering plans because the SOS Flare is the best Blaze Slayer item. But also a ton of the RNGs from this Slayer are actually from the minions. So not only do you have to get the drops from the Slayer, you also have to get the minion drops. So the Inferno Apex and the Reaper Peppers are the two minion RNG drops that everyone's gonna want. You can see them in the uh, section of the bazaar and these things are gonna suck. These things literally only give you plus one health and you can consume five of them, but they're gonna cost billions, bro. And yeah, that's the other one required for the expensive crafts. Basically, this Slayer just like sucks, bro. <laughs> All right, last one of the stream. Let's make it a good one. Oh my God, I have somebody else's boss running through my boy. There we go, ladies and gents. And we got nothing. 71,000 XP until Blaze Slayer level 7. It's going to be a long few days, bro. If I'm Blaze Slayer level 7 the next time you see me, you know that cost a part of my soul. But as always, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.